Uh, just wind back a second. Do you only have a fertilised egg? Is that for actually eating or is that for chickens? Cockerel, who come oh, and visit me. No. Oh, well, the, the, the cockerel won't fight, but is it just a new... No, there's the, the two of them. That's like Laurel and Hardy, if, uh, yeah. or Mr. Mm. Mr. Laurel and Mrs. Hardy. They turn up at the doorstep yeah. every single day now. Um, I don't know where they come from, are they, but they must be local chickens. They go around, they scratch around, uh, mm. and then they come, have a bit of eat, and then they clear off. And I haven't had a single egg from them. Can you believe that? Yeah. Not a single egg. They, I would have thought that one day they'd have come down with a little basket for me, Jerry, and given me some. No, they've gone away and hidden and, and laid them out in the grass somewhere. Jerry, it is always good to talk to you on this okay. program. I'm not going to go down the sexist route because uh, we could end up being fired for that, <laughs> as uh, a lot of uh, other TV <laughs> presenters have more recently been done. But the idea of having, I mean, I'm a bloke at the same time, and I do have clothes in my wardrobe that I have never, ever worn. Are you the same? Yeah, well, that's another, that's another topic of conversation. <laughs> I mean, I never... Um, uh, most women need to be centipedes in order to wear all the shoes that they have, don't they? <laughs> there was that. Uh, they, they thought, what are we going to do with Lady Thatcher? And it is a morbid one. Well, what are we going to do with Lady Thatcher uh, when she finally decides to croak it? Uh, it's one of those... Uh, you know, I, uh, people will just put, stick me in a box and send me down the drain. That's probably what will happen to me. But Lady Thatcher, the woman who changed everything, gave power to the woman... The economy was never the same after her, some people, some people will say, and uh, some mining people will say that uh, she was the one that put them out of a job. But Lady Thatcher, a force to be reckoned with, even at the age of 85, her legacy still affects the Conservative Party in whatever they do nowadays. But your thoughts on that one, Lady Thatcher, uh, her contribution over the years to the Conservative Party and what uh, she did in politics. Uh, could be something if you fancy talking to me about uh, this morning. Fears of more jobs. And one has to say, is that typical of MPs doing something? Uh, you know, celebrating the fact that George Osborne has been up and made a statement, cutting thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs, and the backbenchers jump up and start waving their papers and saying, yeah, well done, well done, fantastic. It's not fantastic for the people who are going to be losing their jobs, though. Your thoughts on that one? Canal Side Radio. Yeah. It, it, it'll only be, it, you won't get the full 50 years. But or whatever years. happens, though, with these, and we're moving to the, the next record just before we go to, to the news, uh, civil servants and people within the public sector, and this is a great argument, they're going to be doing a lot better than the people down at British Aerospace when the doors close there, either in a few weeks or in 2012. And that's the, that's the great gripe that people will have, isn't it? I think, and I think it's a valid gripe. Faculties may well be leaving us, but we still want to believe that we can still do everything that we used to do 30 years ago. Absolutely, and, and no one ever, ever wants to admit that a bad driver, no matter what age they are. No, you should see the bumpers on my car, Neil. Thanks very much for coming on the programme this afternoon. Uh, that is Neil Gregg from the Institute of Advanced Drivers. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. Enrico Iglesias. Good afternoon. My name's Rob Bashful. This is Canal Side Radio on 102.8 FM. And it's nice to have you with us this afternoon. Your midweek edition of Stop the Press, looking at the Mac Express. Rhiannon McDowell from Manchester is with me now. Good afternoon, Rhiannon. Hello. Aid that they need. Uh, today we're going to talk to Oxfam. I've got uh, Sabrina uh, Tremonti, who's on the line from Oxfam, uh, at their operations centre in Manchester. Good afternoon, Sabrina. Good afternoon. Uh, could you give us a quick update as to what the situation is in Haiti? And Gloria Estefan, one, two, three. Nine minutes to 11 o'clock on Canal Side Radio. Good morning to you all, if you've only just tuned in. Uh, a busy old programme this morning. We've been talking about speed cameras in the main. Your thoughts on that one still welcome. Uh, I'm here until 11 o'clock, as I say, so you'll have to be quick if you've got any comments on speed, comment, uh, speed cameras. The government are to axe them, axe the funding behind them. Uh, elsewhere in the region, though, today, uh, the Royal Horticultural Society... Uh, is in full swing down at Tatton Park, and we have our roving reporter down there, Tom. Uh, good morning, Tom. How you doing, Rob? You all right? I'm very well, thank you very much. What, wild beasts? <laughs> well, you did call it something else at the start, didn't you? But I won't morning. tell all. Morning, Stringer. Morning, Bashforth. How are we? <laughs> I don't really know, actually. <laughs> Should I be here? <laughs> Uh, Simon Clark, the director of Forest, joins me now. Good afternoon, Simon. Hi, Rob. Uh, do you feel that we live in a nanny state, or is it uh, the government's responsibility to look after the health and well-being of the public? 
Well, I think we used to live in a nanny state, but unfortunately... It's Canal Side Radio, uh, the Barnaby Festival, and uh, I've just found a, what looks like a giant carrot. Well done, we are, we are carrots, yes. You are? Yes. We're Healthy from, living. We're from Food for Matt, we're about growing food locally in Macclesfield. Totally organic, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. It's Rob Bashful from Canal Side Radio. Oh, hello. Uh, got some glamorous looking ladies oh, here. I have some lovely ladies. I know, fantastic. Who are you? Cappers Tappers. Uh, and what's your name? Sue Capper. <laughs> Sue Capper. And you're a tapper. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> like that. It's taking us back to New Orleans days. Absolutely. <laughs> puts everyone on their metal and it gives the audience a chance to feel as though they're involved so more open questions is definitely a good idea yeah only a couple of weeks away now uh, what's the plan for you over the next uh, two weeks i'm going to be in Macclesfield quite a lot of the time i'm working monday and tuesday and then after that i'll be out and about in Macclesfield, meeting people hearing about what they want and above all trying to persuade people to vote labor dr adrian hill good to talk to you thank you very much past 11 on a sunday morning <laughs> Holly Mears, of course, was a runner-up in the X Factor. Uh, and uh, this weekend, on Friday night, we saw uh, a fantastic singer go through in our own Chicago's voice. Her name was Stephanie, and she joins me on the line now. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm fantastic, thanks. Are you over the shock, or did you expect it? What were your thoughts on Friday evening? Oh, I didn't expect it at all because there's so much good competition. Um, so I'm still really ecstatic, really, thinking of what I'm going to do for Friday. It's Friday night. You're going down to Warrington. Yeah. Have you decided what you're going to be singing? Well, no, I spent about five... Would that be? Well, there was... I, I, I did say to those that girl who sung um, Raya Carey, she was brilliant. She sung... I think she was the third person to sing. Stephanie. Really good. Stephanie. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think so. Dark Isle Dark Isle. That's she was right. really good. What do you think of Thomas? Poor old Thomas, who got knocked down by uh, a cab the day before, so he was limping around. He also had two cracked lips, uh, cracked ribs, should we say. <laughs> uh, was dressed in a Top Gun outfit with a pair of uh, uh, Ray-Ban aviators. Was he not just something else? I think he was just doing it for fun. He, I think say, he, was... he even said, I can't sing, but I'm just doing it for fun. I, so. I've been trying to get hold of him. It's Thomas Ockerby. If he's listening to us on the wireless, then do pick up the phone to us and give us a call this morning. But poor old Thomas, he did tell me that he suffers from Tourette's at the same time. So, <laughs> um, you know, he, 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 uh, to stand up, two crack ribs, uh, he'd been knocked down by a car previously and uh, was oh, limping God. around the place. You've just got to give him something, haven't you? But he didn't get through. He didn't get through, no. But we are, we have got, we have got a wild card which is uh, going to be given to somebody. Uh, Chicago's voice, uh, I really did enjoy uh, being a judge. But it is so difficult when you have so many talented people in front of you and trying to pick a winner out of them. Becky is on the line. Becky, uh, good morning to you, Becky. Morning. How are you today? Not bad, thanks. I have to say, Becky, your voice was just staggering. I mean, your second choice of song, albeit the first one, I think you had a little bit of... And that's it for today's programme, four minutes to 12 o'clock. Thanks for your calls, thanks for your emails, thanks for your tweets, and thanks to Brendan Murphy today. Have a very good afternoon, and I'll see you back on this channel, same time next Sunday from 10 o'clock. I'm not surprised, not everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many... Friday, uh, Friday evening at uh, Chicago's Voice. Haven't been able to get hold of them, sadly. So uh, we'll have to uh, just keep bated breath until next week. Uh, I've enjoyed today's programme. Thanks to Brendan Murphy for popping in. Thanks for your calls. Thanks for your emails. Thanks for your tweets. I will see you next Sunday morning. Same time, same channel. Here's Will Young. Feeling so strange.